It's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler Only Bin, or bins. We split them last time. I did watch the video, and we did have a good worm ball, which I then split in half, and it should have about a pound on each side. Now, these Red Wigglers did originate from the Cocoon Only Bin for the Red Wigglers that I purchased um, 500 cocoons uh, in 2019 from Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. So today what we are going to do is uh, take a look on them and see how they're doing. Do, we, do they still have any food left? We did feed some tomato leftovers and I think the one original bin did have quite a bit of leftover food so I don't think I fed that one. So let's take a look and see what these guys are doing. Well, look at that. Yay. Got more springtails. Just love me some springtails. No. No, I don't. Do you know some people buy springtails on purpose to put in terrariums? I've got a gold mine here. You know what I mean? If I could sell these springtails, I could be rid of the springtails and also whoever it is that loves springtails for their terrariums or frogs or whoever eats them. Oh, cocoon, right there. Um, then everybody would be happy if I could get rid of them. I know, they're good critters for the bin. I just don't happen to like them. Well, it's a good worm ball. I don't really see what they're, they're balling about. There's no... shouldn't be any food in the middle. Hmm. Let me move the bedding over to one side here and I'm gonna push the bin around. So there's there's a good amount of red wigglers in here still. Uh, this is the original, I'm I'm sure. Um, so yeah, looks like. I don't see any food left in here, so I'm going to try and keep a mental note of how many worms are in here, and then uh, see there's another cocoon right there. And then, wow, there's cocoons everywhere. They must be super happy that I got rid of all of their relatives. Okay, let's see. All right, well, that bin definitely has not got any food. It's got a really good moisture level on it. And so I'm just gonna flip it around here, incorporate that bedding. I think they're doing a good job of working through everything here. And honestly, I, I don't remember putting these sticks in here. This is not normally a red wiggler thing. So I'm gonna move these over to the big boy. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and let's feed them in the middle here. Okay, so tis the season for apple goo. My apple trees are all ready to be harvested and so I'm in the process of making wine. Juice comes out one end, all the uh, apple goo comes out the other, so they are going to get some apple goo. This has been frozen, so hopefully there will not be any um, living gnats or anything like that. I think I'm going to give them a little bit of bedding on top of this. In case you haven't seen the video, this is the same bedding that I made in the video of my prepared bedding. So there we go, kind of get that absorbed a little bit into some bedding put the old castings on top and then let me slide this out and we'll grab the other one. Okay, so this was the bin that was new last time and I don't know which end is which but it did have tomatoes that it was fed. Not smelling any I'm not seeing any tomatoes on this end maybe it's over here oh yes ta-da 
and you can tell they've eaten all of the stuff of substance and the only thing that's left are these wes wispy little um, just paper thin bits of the tomato. So no, it's not, must not be very nutritious or must not be that great because it's kind of a diffused worm ball. It's not really a everybody's together kind of a worm ball. So I'm just going to incorporate that in across the board. There must not be enough really nutrition in that um, tomato, you know, stuff that it kept them all together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just flipping everything over, incorporating that dry bedding in, and then I am going to give them also some apple goo. Now I think there's still more worms in that other bin than there is in this bin. Um, but I'm still going to give them a good amount of apple goo and give them some new bedding. Alright, there's the new bedding. And then here we go with the apple goo. This was a full gallon bag of the apple goo. So they're each getting about a half a gallon. It's been frozen. Nothing's going to germinate. There shouldn't be any um, larva from fruit flies or anything like that in there. Um, and then we'll just straighten them out. And that that would be that for the, uh, the Red Wigglers. Okay, guys. So if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.